The Aussie sensation, Daniel Ricciardo, might just be making a comeback to F1. After a tough season with McLaren, Ricciardo is taking some time off to contemplate his future in the sport. He's made it clear that he won't return just to be on the grid and struggle in 18th place. But could he make a triumphant return to the top of the leaderboard? Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on everything Formula One. He's the honey badger, the man with a million dollar smile and some serious driving skills. From his early days with HRT and Toro Rosso to his breakout with Red Bull, he's made a name for himself as one of the most exciting drivers on the grid. His racecraft is impeccable, his overtaking skills are legendary, and his energy is infectious. But things didn't exactly go to plan for our Honey Badger in 2021. After his move to McLaren, he had a tough time adapting to the car and team. It was a frustrating season for Ricciardo, who had to deal with car issues and a lack of confidence on the track. But we all know that he is a fighter, and he's not one to give up easily. Despite the setbacks, Ricciardo's career has been nothing short of impressive. With seven Grand Prix wins, 31 podiums, and a reputation for thrilling overtakes, he's established himself as one of the best drivers in the sport. But why did Ricciardo leave McLaren? Was it the team's poor performance? Or was it because of his new teammate, Lando Norris? Or was it both? Let's put on our investigative hats and find out. To start with, let's talk about McLaren's performance in 2021. It's safe to say that it was, well, not great. The team struggled to keep up with the likes of Mercedes and Red Bull, and often found themselves fighting for the lower points paying positions. Now, keep in mind that Ricciardo joined the team with high hopes and expectations, he had just come off a successful stint with Renault, where he had taken two podium finishes. So naturally, he expected to do the same at McLaren. But things didn't quite go according to plan. To make matters worse, Ricciardo's new teammate, Lando Norris, proved to be a formidable opponent. The young Briton had already spent two seasons with the team. He consistently outperformed Ricciardo in qualifying and often finished ahead of him in the races. This must have been a bitter pill for Ricciardo to swallow, especially since he had been brought in to be the team's number one driver. But it wasn't just Norris who was causing problems for Ricciardo. The car itself was proving to be a handful. McLaren had introduced a new aerodynamic concept for the MCL35M, which required a very specific driving style. This was something that Ricciardo struggled to adapt to, and he often found himself off the pace compared to Norris. The frustration must have been mounting for the Australian driver, who was used to being competitive in any car he drove. So it's not hard to see why Ricciardo might have been feeling a little disillusioned with his time at McLaren. He had high expectations for himself and the team, but the reality was quite different. He was struggling to get to grips with the car and keep up with his teammate, while the team itself was languishing in the midfield. It must have been a tough pill to swallow for a driver who had previously been so successful. In the end, it seems that Ricciardo made the decision to leave McLaren because he wanted to be in a car that could compete at the front of the grid. He had spent a year with the team, and while he had undoubtedly learned a lot, he felt that it was time to move on. It's not clear yet where he will end up, but one thing's for sure, he won't be content to languish in the midfield. Ricciardo is a driver who wants to win, and he will do whatever it takes to get back to the front of the pack. But his future in F1 is as unpredictable as a tropical storm. In an interview with a prominent news outlet, the Honey Badger himself hinted at the possibility of a comeback, but only under certain circumstances. Ricciardo's focus has always been on winning, not just participating. He is a man who craves competition, the kind that pushes him to the edge of his limits, and he has set his sights on returning to F1 only if he can race at the front and fight for wins. Ricciardo's determination is admirable, but the F1 driver market is a merciless beast that only rewards those with the best performances. The competition for top seats is fierce, with the likes of Hamilton, Verstappen, and Leclerc securing their positions in their respective teams. The challenge Ricciardo faces is immense, but he has always been a fighter. His love for the sport is deep-rooted, and his hunger for victory is insatiable. One possibility for Ricciardo is to return to his former team, Red Bull. However, with the team currently focusing on Verstappen, 
it may not be a straightforward option. Other teams, such as Ferrari and Mercedes, could also be potential destinations. But with established drivers already in place, Ricciardo may have to wait for an opportunity to arise. Ricciardo's comments have sparked excitement and speculation among fans, but the reality is that only time will tell if he can secure a top seat and make a successful comeback to F1. For now, his focus remains on McLaren and making the most of the 2022 season. His unwavering determination and tenacity, coupled with his skill and racecraft, make him a driver to watch out for in the coming years. As the old saying goes, never say never, and with Ricciardo, anything is possible. So what's the deal with Ricciardo's current gig at Red Bull? Well, he's not just sitting on the sidelines twiddling his thumbs. In fact, team boss Christian Horner has been singing Ricciardo's praises, saying he's in top shape and ready to race if needed. Now, that's what I call dedication. But hold on to your hats, F1 fans, because it's not just about staying in shape and being ready to go at a moment's notice. Ricciardo's role as a reserve driver also presents some unique opportunities for him to continue developing his skills and stay involved in the sport he loves. Think about it. Ricciardo has years of experience under his belt, and he's been in some of the top cars in the business. That's not something you just forget how to do overnight. By remaining involved in F1 as a reserve driver, he can stay sharp and ready to jump back into a full-time race seat instantly. Now his time away from the track could also be used to develop his skills in other areas, such as race strategy or car development. As a reserve driver, he has the unique opportunity to work closely with the engineers and mechanics behind the scenes, giving him insights into how the team operates and how the cars are put together. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. But isn't being a reserve driver just a glorified cheerleader role? What's the point if he's not racing full-time? Well, being a reserve driver is not just about sitting on the sidelines and hoping for the best. It's about being an active part of the team and contributing to its success in any way possible. And don't forget that being a reserve driver at a top team like Red Bull is no small feat. It shows that Ricciardo is still highly regarded in the F1 world and that he still has a lot to offer as a driver. Now there are many possibilities for Ricciardo's future in F1, and fans are eager to see where he ends up. With his skill and expertise, Ricciardo would be an asset to any team, but securing a competitive seat could be a challenge. Possible teams that Ricciardo could join include Alfa Romeo, Williams, and Aston Martin. But with a driver market as cutthroat as it is, there's no guarantee that he'll land one of these coveted seats. However, even if Ricciardo doesn't return to racing full-time, there are still opportunities for him to stay involved in the sport and help young drivers develop. With his wealth of knowledge, he could be a mentor to up-and-coming drivers and pass on his skills to the next generation of F1 stars. So, what does Ricciardo have to say about his future in the sport? Well, in his own words, he's not done yet. He's determined to make a comeback and compete at the front of the grid. As fans of the sport, it's important for us to stay tuned for updates on Ricciardo's future and continue following the evolution of F1. Who knows, maybe we'll see him back on track sooner than we think. Do you think a comeback for Ricciardo is possible in the near future? Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Formula One content.